cave cliff beaches. So similar to Thailand and so different. Uluwetu is still very much raw and very much uh, untouched. Well, add cockfighting to the list of things I didn't think I'd see today. Saddle up, partner! <laughs> we are going to drink poop coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to What Doesn't Suck. This is 48 Hours in Bali. Good morning, gang! Guys, we made it to Bali! You guys have been asking for this one for such a long time. We've finally made it to Indonesia. We are at the beautiful Radisson Blue Bali Uluwatu. We have two days to explore this amazing area of Indonesia. We are so stoked. The weather is beautiful. We just got to scoot it. We're going to grab a bite to eat. We're going to plot out everything we can do in two days and we're going to hit the road. What are you excited for us to do? All the beaches, the cliffs, the caves, the temple, the mocha, everything. I love it all. Food makes me happy. This part of Asia is by far my favorite part of the world. There's just something about it that gets both of us so excited. I think it's mostly the food. There he is, guys. Barney. Barney, the scooter. It costs five euro per day. <laughs> Saddle up, partner! <laughs> So all the beaches in this side of Bali at least are accessible via stairs but it is well worth the hike. And it's only a few steps and you're down into this beautiful sandy beach. Oh, it's so amazing. This is what I had in mind when I was thinking of beaches in Bali. Indonesia has more coastline than any other country except for Canada with over 18,000 beaches. Little lunch in our little beach shack. This is so good. Oh, trying to work off all that fried rice, you guys. One step at a time. If you want to come to Indonesia and do a healthy cleanse, just wear a motorbike helmet for 10 minutes and you'll sweat out everything. Putting the fun in fun employment. Oh, God. <laughs> impressions of Indonesia. I was ready for it to be exactly like Thailand. Well, there's so many things that are similar, the landscape is totally different. If you come to South Bali, you have to come to see Melasti Beach. It's this beach with huge cliffs. It's absolutely gorgeous. Some incredible beaches I cannot wait to explore. Love, are you really sure you can pull this off? Uh, it holds my camera, it holds all our money. I'm definitely the coolest kid in Bali. You would get so ripped living in this country, walking up and down all these steps to the beach, especially with a the surfboard. There are monkeys everywhere. Oh, it is so good. The Uluwatu Temple is the second most popular in all of Bali, and it's clear to see why. Built up on a cliff, it is absolutely stunning. It's amazing coming to these temples, being able to see all these different cultural things. Tickets cost $2. And we hear there's a fire show tonight. Not sure what that is, but let's go check it out. Guys, we just saw a show. I'm not too sure what's the storyline here. Really cool. It's like a mix of Arabic elements and Buddhist and Hindu. Sort of reminds me of like India and the Middle East and Thailand all in one. Pretty cool. I told you I could eat that food every day for every meal. Good morning, guys. It is bright and early, and today we're gonna to do something that has been on the bucket list for years. We're gonna do some yoga in Indonesia. Sunrise yoga in Bali. What could be better? We just finished the yoga, and you guys are doing very well. Am I a yoga master now? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I've identified some problem areas. It's most of my entire body. Such a good start to our day. And now it's time for... Super breakfast! I like to feel healthy before my pancakes. We are only staying in Uluwatu. Uluwatu is still very much raw and very much uh, untouched. There are so many similar places like this that are super packed with tourists. Uluwatu is so nice and quiet. 
Something that was really convenient as well is that we got a visa for free on arrival for 30 days. All right, friends and family, this is day two in Bali and we are going to drink poop coffee. Yep, you heard that right. I don't know. I mean, some guy watched a chicken lay an egg and decided to eat that, so who am I to judge? <laughs> I've saved an extra coffee this morning just for this. Looking good hair. Hey! <laughs> This is an Indonesian delicacy, the Asian palm civet. Eats the coffee beans, ferment it in their stomach, and then poop it. It's making one of the most unique cups of coffee in the world. That's nature's barista. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but I'm excited to see. Usually we're trying things that look like this at a microbrewery, <laughs> but today we're at a jungle in Bali trying mango steam tea, Bali coffee. <gasps> oh, I love some cocoa. Oh, it's good. Mmm, that's nice actually. Look, we're doing yoga, we're drinking ginseng. Look at us, love. <laughs> We've changed. Mm. Bucket list item number 47, Lua coffee in Bali. And they explain everything about the coffee, and then you get the little tasting platters of teas, coffees, and cocos. Poopy! I'll just leave you there, love. Indonesia is definitely hot, but it's way less hot and muggy and miserable than I thought it would. And I'm super surprised I haven't gotten one mosquito bite. That was awesome, you gotta try it. Now I'm all jacked up on poop coffee. I just wanna find a beach. So I think in order to really fit in here, you need to have a crochet top, a messy bun, and a back tattoo. Beaches in Bali are different than anything we've seen before, and they are nestled in between these caves. And then it opens up to this beach, and it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Cave cliff beaches. So gorgeous, and everyone's wearing surfing. So similar to Thailand, and so different. Which one's our bike? Up well, add cockfighting to the list of things I didn't think I'd see today. Home sweet home. If I don't get in that pool in the next five minutes, I am going to throw a fit. Now we have the rest of the afternoon to sit by the pool, relax, and enjoy the beautiful sunset. Guys, this hotel is insane. Pool is incredible. This whole area is beautiful. It's honestly like so Instagram friendly. I hate that I'm saying this, but it really is. Happy hour! Happy place. This is what we always look for in a travel experience. Somewhere that is comfortable, can make us feel healthy, we can explore different cultures, we can eat different foods, and most importantly, we can try and experience something new. This little southern tip of Bali is a true hidden gem. What a perfect end to a perfect weekend. I have never seen Anne this relaxed. Up at sunrise again, an awesome run in the early light. A couple hours before we pack our bags and have to leave Uluwatu. I'm gonna definitely miss the spanking, but we had such an amazing time here in Bali and I cannot wait to explore more of it. There is amazing beaches, as there's a lot of surfing around here, a lot of healthy vibes and yoga. We really had an amazing weekend and you know, it feels so happy and sometimes you just need a couple of days to just recharge your batteries. So, if we can do all of this in just two days. Imagine what you can do in a week.